Hey guys, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service, and today I'm going to show you two vulnerabilities combined. One is an open redirect, and the other one is a reflected access as cross-site scripting vulnerability. Let's get right started. Uh, one thing I can highly recommend when assessing any website is to visit something called a robots.txt file. This is basically a file which um, indicates to the search bots like Bing, Google, Yahoo, etc., what shall be indexed and what shall not. And typically what's this allowed in there is interesting from an, from a bug bounty or the penetration tester perspective, right? So, um, for example, I see there's a disallow go. Then first intuition is, well, check out what, what go does. So nothing. So I get an nginx error message, but, um, it says in 404 not found, so the, the Go directory does, doesn't exist. But as you recall from, from, from this website, um, everything is PHP, right? So um, basically, what about an extension PHP? And then I get an error message, which says like invalid return URL supplied. Okay, so it even tells me what, what it wants to see. So if I then say here, return URL equals slash slash or something or just slash then invalid return url supplied okay so maybe i have written this incorrectly maybe the parameter is like with a capital u so there's various variations and if i do this and then it works oh very interesting right so it's redirecting me and then what stands out immediately is there's a type zero so I don't know what this is being used for, but it may become interesting. So let's take a look in Burp again. So here was our request, the return URL, which resulted in a, th in a 302 uh, redirect, in a temporary redirect. Let me send this to repeat real quick and then hit this again. I can follow the redirection and then I get this type zero. So this is basically the, this, the same what you have seen in the web browser, right? <clears throat> so if I now um, want to exploit this for, for cross-site scripting, I will go back here. And then instead of the URL, I would simply say, well, open redirect, first of all, I want to test an open redirect. So I'm going to evil.com. And if, if this is going to go to evil.com, then I have successfully an open redirect. And there we go. So I have an open redirect. You again see that the type zero is there. So, which becomes more interesting in just a bit. So if I, if I now say JavaScript, JavaScript alert zero, okay, it doesn't work. Okay, if I already, okay, I need to change the URL here, JavaScript alert zero. And it says like, oops, there was a problem, right? So something is preventing this from actually being executed. Now I can, add a comment after my JavaScript uh, alert zero, and then say like type equals one. Okay, instead of type equals zero, I use type equals one. Maybe this has a difference or has a different effect. And then I do this and again, it said no. So what if I put an, an ampersand at the end? So I, I add the type as another parameter. And there you go. There is your cross-site scripting vulnerability. And it wasn't just enough to put the JavaScript um, alert zero in. You also had to specify the type. And now let's take a look at this in Burp. What's the difference here? So remember when I when I done my my first um, try, my first try basically was, yeah, one of these. And then I put the type one in there, but I haven't put it in as a parameter. So that resulted in a 302 redirect and it didn't fire my cross-site scripting payload. And the one which was working, you see immediately that the type one, right? Um, when I actually appended it here as a, as a, as a parameter, then my JavaScript payload was being, being put into a script tag and the script tag is then executing the top location href with my payload in there, right? And this is why my payload has fired. So I had to set it to type one um, because type, type zero was resulting in a 302 redirect versus 
a type one was resulting in a 200 okay. My payload got put into a script tag and my payload fired. Okay, I hope this makes sense and I look forward to see you in one of the next videos.